Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Brian Curly G here. I hope you're all doing really well and I hope you're all staying fabulous and staying positive. Um, so today's video, we are going to be doing a product review. Um, I haven't done one of these in a minute, so I thought I'd get back on the bandwagon as these seem to be my more popular videos with you guys. Um, so anyway, so the product that I've chosen to review today is an intensive hair mask because we all know I love doing my hair masks. Anything that keeps my hair nourished and moisturized, I'm here for um anyway so the product is the alberto Bassam blends and it's the damage repair intensive mask so that's what we got right here okay and it's with natural avocado oil and coconut scent and it is for dry and or damaged hair okay so i've seen this product around quite a lot and um, it's a really really um affordable hair mask because I know out there you can get some pretty pricey hair masks and I'm all here for saving some coins in your pocket. So we're just gonna crack straight on with the video. Guys, so I've shampooed my hair and I'm going to use the deep, in, what is it? deep conditioner <laughs> or the hair mask. So obviously a microfiber towel. It says apply to wet hair after using, they recommend their shampoo, but I use my own shampoo. Leave for two to three minutes and rinse off. Um, apparently reduces breakage and it has 0% parabens, but I gather that it has some form of silicones in it. Um, yeah. It's got quite a few products with cones, like dim, dim, dimethicone, ammo dimethicone. It's got some uh, adipic acid, whatever that is. It's got chloride, chloride. So yeah, so if you, um, if you follow the curly girl method, I wouldn't recommend this product because it does have uh, silicones and um, other products that generally are no for curly hair. But if you're like me and you're not that strict with what you use, um, as long as it works in your hair and leaves your hair feeling good, then um, obviously give it a go. So anyway, so here we go. It smells really nice. There's obviously a perfume in there. Um, and the consistency is quite nice. It's got like a nice, like really, um, thin creamy consistency almost silky which i know my hair is going to love because i always um any product that's a little bit more silky to the touch my my curls love it so i'm just going to apply this all over my hair and then i'm and then i'm just gonna um detangle it Alright guys, so in terms of slippage, um, it definitely gave me better slippage um, than a lot of products I use do. Um, it wasn't amazing, um, but it definitely made it quite easy for me to tangle, 
to detangle my hair, which is always a good thing. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put the plastic cap over my hair. You can use a plastic bag or a heated shower cap or um, whatever you've got <laughs> just to keep the heat in your hair. And I'm gonna leave it on for about five to 10 minutes. Um, the instructions say two to three minutes, but because I have super dry hair, I'm going to do it for a little bit longer and then um, I'm going to go rinse it out. Okay, so I've had it in for about 10 minutes. Doesn't feel any different. <laughs> it feels the same. I'm gonna go rinse it out and then I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like once it's been rinsed out. So it does feel good. It feels really soft. Um, it doesn't feel very moisturized though. Um, it just feels like I don't feel like it's done anything special to my hair. It feels the way it normally feels after I've washed it. Um, but what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go and style it the way I normally style my hair and then I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like um, when it's dry and hopefully, because it's a intensive mask, my curls should be popping. So this is my hair after I used the intensive mask. This is my day two curls. And as you guys can see, my hair is, um, is looking quite good. I'm quite happy with my curls. I've got a little bit more, I've got quite a bit of shrinkage going on, but that's absolutely fine. Um, I do have some pretty, um, some pretty cute curls in here, as you guys can see. Um, so the product definitely did bring out um, didn't bring out anything bad in my hair the only thing that I would say is that it was it's not as moisturizing as I would like it to be but that's maybe just because the um, the product does have quite a lot of ingredients in it that are not necessarily curly girl friendly um, it's got a few silicones in there and it's got some some form of acids in there and um, loads of other stuff that I don't actually know what it does but it does not sound good um, so definitely I think it definitely did moisturize my hair my hair did feel really soft when I washed it um, but as my hair is going through the, the week or the days should I say so example this is day two it is feeling a little bit dry so I do need to moisturize it quite a bit um, but overall I would give this product probably a six and a half to a seven out of ten um, but yeah not bad especially considering the price I paid for I paid two pounds for this um, so let me know if you guys tried it and if you like it and what your thoughts are on it um, I'd love to figure out how kind of hear how it's worked on different hair types um, but that's it guys that is my Alberta Bassam uh damage repair intensive mask review um make sure you comment down below and let me know if you liked it but i'll catch you guys next time bye